But Lord Vani Prabhu, I did hear the the tapes and I thought the Madanga was 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 great. We need your Madanga. If you insist. Yeah, I thought the Madonna did add a a nice uh, element to it. I'll get the song up on the screen. Yep. For those of you who are not able to access the drive, you can just look at this. If we're doing a murdunga, it might be better to do it without the drum on your side. But as you like. I'll keep the drums a little softer. Is the, can you hear the sound of the tambora? Yes, we can. The level is good? Yes. Jaya Jaya Shri Chaitanya Patita Pavan Jaya Nityananda Prabhu Anatha Taran Jaya Jaya Dweta Chandra Kripara Saga Jaya Rupa Sanatana Jaya Gadadha Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama. Ram Ram Hare Hare Si Jeeva Gopala Bhata 
You want me to repeat the same verse? Yeah. Go Pala Bhata Ragunata Dwai Jaya Braja Dama Vasi Vaishnava Nicho Jaya Jaya Nava Jaya Jaya Nava Dweepa Basi Bhakta Gan Save Mili Kripa More Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. So we like to ask for forgiveness to the audience because of the lag in the, the video. Hopefully everything is sounding somewhat in uh, sync. We're working on trying to do a better coordination with the sound. We're trying to do the best we can with this remote technology here. So is uh, Shivani Mataji here? Yes, Prabhu. Yes, Mataji. Haribo. So we would like, Haribo, thanks for being here. We'd like for you to read the Bengali transliteration for these uh, four slokas, and then we'll have a Vishnu Priya Mataji read the English. Okay. Jaya Jaya Sri Chaitanya Potita Pavan Jaya Nittananda Prabhu Anatha Taran Joyo, Joyo Duito Chandra, Kriparo Shagor, Joyo Rupur Shanatan, Joyo Gadadhar, Srijibo Gopalo Bhatto, Rokhunatha Dai, Joyo Brojodham Bashi, Boshnobo Nishjai, Joyo Joyo Nabuddeep Bashi Bhakto Gan, Shabe Mili Kripamure, Koro Vitaran, Nikhilo Boshnobo John, Doya. Prokashiya, Sri Jannubha Pado More, Rakhohe Taniya. Okay, you can stop there and let's, let's read the English. 
All glories, all glories to Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, the deliverer of all fallen souls. All glories to Sri Nityananda Prabhu, the savior of those who are lost and helpless in this world. All glories to Sri Mad Advaita Acharya, who is just like an unfathomable ocean of causeless mercy. All glories to Srila Rupa Goswami, Srila Sanatan Goswami, and, and to Sri Gadadhar Pandit. All glories to all the most. I sent it to him also. Vaishnavas. Yeah, but you can't hear any of the reading. Hold on, Shastivar Prabhu, you have to place your microphone on mute. Sorry, we're hearing the. Please carry on, Vishnu. All glories to all the multitudes of Vaishnavas who are residing in the holy abode of Rajadham, headed by Srila Jiva Goswami, Srila Gopal Bhatta Goswami, Srila Raghunath Das Goswami, and Srila Raghunath Bhatta Goswami. All glories to all the devotees of the Lord who live in Sri Navadvip Dham. I beg all of you together to kindly bestow your mercy upon me. Vaishnava Jana Doya Prakashiya Shri Jana Vapada Mure Rakotaniya Amita Durvada Asi Vaishnava Chini more tripa kari bena Vaishnava sakhani Amita dun bhagati Vaishnava nachini More tripa kari bena Vaishnava sakhani everyone sing along Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Hare Krishna, 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 Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama. Ram, 
বৈষ্ণবজন দয়া প্রকাশিয়া শ্রী জান্নভা পদে মরে রাখো টানিয়া আমি তো দুর্ভাগা অতি বৈষ্ণব না চিনি মরে কৃপা করিবেন বৈষ্ণব আপনি Next, you can read the next sloka. Uh, it's, nice, it's nice to do it one at a time because then we know what we're hearing. Uh, Vishnu, you want to want to go back and forth like Shivani is suggesting? Sure. I pray to all you assembled Vaishnavas throughout the entire universe to please show your compassion by attracting me to the shade of the lotus feet of Sri Jhanava Devi, my eternal shelter, and the very pleasure potency of Sri Nityananda Prabhu. I am certainly most unfortunate, for I cannot realize who is actually a Vaishnava. Therefore, I beg that if any real Vaishnava hear my prayer, then please be merciful to me. Sri Guru Charone Mol Bhukti Karodan Ye Charono Bale Pai তত্ত্বের সন্ধান ব্রাহ্মণ সকল করি কৃপা মোর প্রতি বৈষ্ণব চরণে মোরে দেহ দৃঢ়মতি 
I pray to all of the bona fide Brahmanas to please show your favor to me by giving me firm devotional determination unto the lotus feet of Vaishnavas. Vishnu, I can't see the screen. You have to move this. I have it. Do you see it? It's very zoomed in. I can't read the I don't know where Shasti was singing. Oh, I, I did make it big. Do you see it now? Yes, thank you. I'll, I'll sing these slogans. Okay. Chakale Gaudiya Kripa Maudaba Vaishnava Karuna Ranti Granta Dwara Vaishnava Nira Nira Kripa Pai Vaishnava Kripa Krishna Lava Oi Pai Vaishnava Vimukha Jari Kāra Jīvāna Nīrā Kātaka Jāno Vāyī Vāsītā Vājāna Hare Krishnā Hare Krishnā Krishnā Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare. Uttu Nitu Harbo Jeev. Sorone Sharon, Loilam Ami Dino Hino Okin John, Shakole Korea Kripa, Deho More Bar, Boshnobu Koruna E. Grunthero Adhar.
গ্রন্থ দ্বারা বৈষ্ণব জনের কৃপা পাই বৈষ্ণব কৃপায় কৃষ্ণ লাভ হয় ভাই বৈষ্ণব বিমুখ যার তাহার জীবন নিরাথক জানো ভাই প্রসিদ্ধ বচন Thus, I have taken shelter at the feet of all the jiva souls, whether they are highly elevated or even if they are very low born. For in truth, I am the most fallen soul, very lowly and insignificant. All you Vaishnavas, being very merciful towards me, kindly bless me with the following boon. I pray that all of you will show your soft-hearted compassion by respecting and appreciating what is what this book has to say. If all the devotees does appreciate this book, then I will receive the causeless mercy that they will shower upon me. O oh, brothers, and by the mercy of all these Vaishnavas, I will attain devotion to the Supreme Lord Sri Krishna. My dear friends, Know it for certain that the life of a person who is averse to any Vaishnava is lived meaninglessly, without any purpose at all. Indeed, this is known throughout all the land. বাইকুন্ত ধামে আছে সহে Kalyana Nama Prabhupada 
Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Hare Hare. You know, if everyone, if you leave your, uh, if you leave yourselves on mute, and then you can sing very loudly. I'm not seeing everyone singing so loudly. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Rama. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. दर्शन उपदेश उपलब्धि उच्छास गणन सुभक्ति प्रसन्नता अति शोभा पाय कल्याण नामक फल In the transcendental realm of Sri Vaikuntha Dham, there is a forest of a supreme perfection of light, existing beautifully within that transcendental forest, are innumerable wish-fulfilling desire trees. Amongst all the tree of Amongst all the desire trees within this transcendental forest, there stands out one special tree, which is actually the king of them all. This one is named the desire tree of auspiciousness, and it conspicuously exists here within the eternal abode for all of the time. What a wonderful sight is this special desire tree! as it stands with its threefold trunk. These three divisions branch out as Upadesh, spiritual advice, Upalabdi, attainment of realization, and Uchvasa, overflowing spiritual emotions. This tree is very beautifully decorated with flower blossoms of especially sweet devotional service. Plus, there are innumerable fruits which are named Kalyan, auspiciousness. So I read verse 17 as well.
any honest or noble person who sincerely takes shelter of this transcendental tree gets to taste these fruits of special supreme auspiciousness, which is the devotional service to Lord Krishna. Okay, now we can put the slides back up. So we're going to start our first excursion and go a little bit deeper into this main topic of Sri Kalyana Kopatru. So I was fortunate enough, and as I said last week, I'm going to be generous in sharing some of my personal experiences. And in the future, we're going to encourage all the other speakers to do as well. So I was fortunate enough to serve Srila Prabhupada in Nairobi, Kenya, of all places. And there we had, actually had a wonderful selection of devotees there. Uh, my good friend, uh, Kripa Moy from London was there as a brahmachari. There was a Jamil Prabhu was there. Rochan Prabhu was there. Rama Kele Prabhu was there. Sikimi Hiti Prabhu was there. It was a wonderful collection of devotees. And, and you could imagine in the middle of Nairobi, it's, a, it's amazing, all of these Western devotees there. It's, our temple was very close to the city. It was, it was hilarious. So we got an opportunity to study Sanskrit there from a, uh, a pundit. And I just wanted to share one of the first lessons he gave us, which is very interested in. And he told us that one deep thing about Sanskrit is that the symbols and the sounds are very much linked. If you look at the Sanskrit characters, you actually shape your mouth in a, in a way that the pronunciation is done. It's very interesting. So if we look at how Bhaktivinoda Thakur has used this, this uh, U in English, it's actually very interesting. Each one of these three branches, they all start with U. So I want to ask everyone to imagine a circle, right? If you imagine a circle, that is, is the Purnam, the Supreme Absolute Truth, the Supreme Complete Whole, as stated in Sri Ashupanishad. But the material world, when we come into the material world, that spiritual wholeness, that completeness, becomes a place of duality. In Bhagavad Gita, the sloka is Icha Dvesha Samutvena, Dwanda Mohena Bharata, Sarva Bhutani Samoham, Sarge Janti Parantapa. When we enter in its material world, the harmony and the wholeness, it becomes divided into this duality of good and bad. Now, if you take that circle and you put a diameter in the middle, if you put, if you split it in half, then you will actually get, if ever you can take a piece of paper and do it, it's very interesting. If you split that circle in half into two pieces, you now have the U, right, is the bottom part, isn't it? Like this, so you have the U on the bottom, and then you have the N on the top, right? So in, in Bengali, it's, it's, we just sung it, Ucha Nicha, right? And then in Hindi, it's Upa Nietzsche, isn't it? So when we're talking about anything that's going up, that's auspicious, it's Upa, right? Like Lord Chaitanya's hands is Upa, is raised in surrender, isn't it? If we look at any tree, the trees are raised like that, upa, right? So trees are very, very interesting. They're raised like this. But the opposite is Nietzsche, isn't it? Down. So even the character N in English is always something negative that's bringing you down, isn't it? We have praviti, we have nirviti, right? We have no, negative. It's all in that particular symbol of the end. It's very interesting. 
So one of my godbrothers, his name is Sri Nandanandanan. He wrote this very nice book called A Proof of Vedic Culture's Global Existence. His karmi name is Stephen Knapp, but his devotional name is Sri Nandanandan. It's a very, very beautiful book that shows how Vedic culture was spread all over the world. And it shows how these different languages they have, they're all related back to Sanskrit, Hindi, Bengali, they're all related in these objects, sounds, and symbols, right? So when we think about these two principles, itcha, dwesha. So we all have desires, right? So in this wonderful poem, Bhakti no Thakur, is showing us how we can have good desires, auspicious desires, right? He can, he's shown us how we come to the point of having good desires because good desires bring us auspiciousness and bad desires bring us destruction. So last week we celebrated Ram Nomi, right? And we meditated on the wonderful pastimes of Ramachandra Bhagwan. And it's a good example to look at desires by studying the wonderful brothers, Ravana, Kumbhakan, and Vibhishana, right? Ravana is a perfect example of someone who had bad desires. He had so many different wives from all over the universe. Hmm? Matter of fact, when Hanuman went to look for Sita Devi and he went inside the palaces, he was amazed at how many wives that, that Ravana had. He was like, man, you know, this is incredible. He was actually very impressed with Ravana. He said, this rascal is really engaging in a maximum amount of sense gratification. <laughs> Hanuman was really amazed at, at Ravana. But the fact that he still wanted to desire the wife of Lord Ramachandra, that was his destruction. That was his destruction. Hmm? After all of his army was destroyed, Lord Ram said that if you just give up this one desire, this one bad desire, I will bring everyone back to life and everything will be fine for you. Even Hanuman said the same thing. I myself will procure, procure more wives for you. Just give up this desire to have Mother Sita. But still, that bad desire was Ravana's destruction. And then his, his brother Kumbhakarna, he had the desire to be eternal, right? He asked Lord Brahma, Nittatvam. He performed these austerities and he wanted to be eternal. But the demigods tricked him and they made him say Nidratvam, right? So instead of him getting eternal life, he got eternal sleep. So that brother also had the wrong desire. But then the third Brahma brother was who? Vibhishana. And Vibhishana, he wanted devotional service to the Supreme Lord. So Vibhishana, he had the proper desire, and as a result, he became a confidential servant of the Lord, and his life was, was completely auspicious. So this upadesha, this spiritual advice, is Srila Bhakti Vinod Thakur showing us how to have the proper desires. So in the future, we're going to go through each one of these songs, and I've listed them all here. And these are all the various distractions that we have on the path of devotional service. These wrong desires and these wrong frames of mind that Srila Bhakti Vinod Thakur is explaining to us. So we're going to have so many wonderful devotees sing some of these songs, and we're going to read all of the various translations. And it's wonderful to just go through all of these contaminations, such as material loss and, and how scientific uh, 
philosophies confuse us, demigod worship, then impersonal philosophies, mundane scholarly endeavors, performing hatha yoga. He is saying merging with the Brahman is foolish. Then we have the danger of caste pride. I'm a big, big Brahmin, or I come from a high class family. So in this way, if you read all of these different instructions, he goes one by one and creates these beautiful poetic manifestations to show our mind how these are all bad desires that will ultimately bring us off the path of devotional service. So go to the next slide. So then after he shows us how to stay on this path of auspiciousness, then he shows us the results of us becoming free from two things, uh, these, these bad desires, uh, apparats, right? Bad habits. So this realization, attainment of realization, it comes by following the spiritual master's instruction. Upa Lapti. Hmm? By removing the anathas from our hearts, by following the process of devotional service, Dravanam Kirtan, removing offenses, or refraining from the sinful activities, illicit sex, gambling, meat eating, intoxication, uh, performing sadhana. If we look at a vastu, we are spiritual vastus. A vastu is an object. I mentioned this previously. If we look at a, ourselves like a vessel, the anathas are like holes in that vessel. You may be watering your tree of devotional service, but if there's a hole in the vestal, then all of the spiritual advancement will leak out of that vessel, right? So we have to be able to plug those holes by staying strict in our spiritual sadhana, right? And by doing that, then we attain the symptoms of heartfelt felt repentance, retain the symptoms of despondency, and, and we realize that this quest for, for sense gratification is useless. And then ultimately we attain the desire to engage in pure devotional service. There's some very wonderful, wonderful songs in this section. There's one song under repentance that's called Dula Vamanava Dhanma. Very beautiful song. I first he heard that song by one wonderful Vaishnava. His, I really miss this devotee. His name was Jai Sachi Nanda. He was, uh, he was one of the most amazing Kirtanias I ever saw in my life. You could not understand that this person was born in a Western family. He, he mastered Bengali and Bengali bhajans and he sung this wonderful bhajan and I, I was just so impressed when he sang it. Do love a man of a janama, lobby a son, sorry. Krishna Naba, dear Duga, Kahibo, Kahade. Do love a man of a janama. So we'll be singing that later, and this very, very, very deep bhajan. So go to the next slide. So finally, we're going to go to the point of, of overflowing spiritual emotions. This is very, very deep. Um, again, if the cup, if the vessel is solid, there's no holes in the vessel, then the devotional service rises. It goes up, right? And then it overflows into spiritual emotions. Now, us as devotees, as individuals, that spiritual emotion is manifested in different ways. For some, it's manifested in the desire to write, like Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur. 
some is manifested in a desire to preach, to do deity worship. In so many different ways, we can overflow with spiritual emotions. Uh, so I'm going to share my personal experience with this overflowing of spiritual emotion. Uh, you see there the, the gradual procession of uh, songs that we're going to be going through in Ushuasa. And it's very nice that one of the last songs that we sing will be Vibhava Vrishesha, Aloka Pavesha, Nidra Chari Uta Jiva. So that song is sung in Vrindavan for Mangalatik, isn't it? Is it still sung in Vrindavan? Can someone say? Yes, Prabhu. Yes. It's, it's been a while since I've been to Vrindavan, that's why I'm asking. But that song is, is sung during Mangalatik. And I remember when we first started singing that, you're talking about overflowing. So sweet to be in front of Shishi Radha Shama Sundar and singing Vibhavati Shesha and just meditating on the wonderful pastimes of the Lord and his wonderful leelas and qualities in Sri Vrindavan Dham. That is overflowing. So for myself personally, as a brahmachari traveling around in the 70s distributing books, we didn't get a chance to sit down and do bhajans too much. So what I used to do is, is sit in the back of the bus when we were traveling from, time to, from town to town and listen to various tapes that would circulate in, in ISKCON. One day, this tape called Bombay Bhajans fell into my lap. And it was by Chudananda Prabhu. He was a sannyas at that time. And when I heard that tape, it, I just got overflowing emotions. On that tape, he was singing these wonderful, wonderful songs. He was accompanied by sitar, by uh, the most incredible Madunga player that I had ever heard in my life. If you hear that tape, if you hear the Madunga playing, I had never heard Madunga playing like that. The original tape was very clear. The Madunga was just singing. I was, how was he playing this Madunga? And then there was a beautiful flute playing there. And then he was singing and then the songs, Shita Kamala, Bhaja Hude Mana. And at that time, he sung the best Sri Guru Charana Padma. At that time, we just began to sing Sri Guru Charana Padma to Srila Prabhupada. That was a wonderful experience to be there in front of Srila Prabhupada singing that song. So he captured all of these wonderful songs. And when I heard that tape, I just became overflooded, completely overflowing with tears of, wow, what a wonderful kirtan. It took me back to such a wonderful, wonderful place of complete overflowing. So on that kirtan tape was also Gopinath, right? Gopinath, Mawani Vedana Suna, Vishayi Dujana, Sadakama Rata, Kichunahi Muraguna. And the way the Madanga player was playing the Madanga in the background, I was just over overwhelmed. I have not been able to, I got a, a another copy of that and I've never been able to to um, get that tape uh, transferred to digital but I'm gonna work on it. it it was it's just unbelievable tape so um, what happened then is I began to desire to go to Bombay <laughs> my whole life goal was how can I get to Bombay and meet these wonderful devotees? That was my innermost desire. And it took me a while to get to, to Bombay. 
but I was able to get to, to Bombay and Krishna is so, so kind. You know, Krishna is so kind. He brought me in contact with everyone that was on that tape. And of course, the Chudananda is my wonderful god brother. That was no problem. But the Madanga player's name is Sudarshan Das Adhikari. He's literally the best Madanga player ever. And, and, you know, and he played so many wonderful. I got to meet him briefly and then he passed, but his son, Goganga Das Adhikari, was still there. So I got to meet him and then I got to meet the sitar player and, and wonderful enough, the flute player, I got to meet him and I used to go to his house and we used to have good times together and guess what his name became? He, with his association and bringing him to the temple, he became an initiated devotee. devotee. And his name became his name became Copa Viksha, <laughs> the flute player. His name became Copa Viksha. Wonderful, wonderful devotee. So Krishna brought me to Bombay, and just to show you how wonderful Srila Prabhupada's vision is, there is a wonderful auditorium in Bombay, right? And there's one wonderful devotee. His name is Jagat Purush. Has anyone online met Jagat Purush? Yes. You've met him? He's the uh, father of some of my friends, some wonderful musicians and dancers are oh. his uh, daughters. I remember when she was a little baby in Bombay. So Jagat Purush started the Bhakti Kalakshetra in Bombay. Can you imagine this? I can still see him sitting in his office there. This Bhakti Kalachetra was devoted to bringing the wonderful musicians in India to Krishna consciousness to serve Srila Prabhupada. He had a wonderful vision of, in the West we preach to just everyone, but in India we were preaching to the most top people in Bombay, it was amazing. Um, Hema Malini, Vijanti Mala, we went to all of these. My wife made Shashi Kapoor a life member. I remember going to Vinod Khanna's studio when he was editing his movie. We went everywhere, we were fearless. So he had this vision of going to the artists of India and he convinced them to make Krishna conscious tapes. Can you imagine that? So the first one he did was Lakshmi Shankar. Has anyone online that heard the wonderful bhajan tape, Krishna conscious tape of Lakshmi Shankar? I haven't heard it. Oh man, it's, it's incredible. It's incredible. Um, so we made a list of artists that we wanted to, to approach and, and we wanted to convince them to sing Krishna, Hare Krishna Mahamantra as we sing it, right? So we went to Anup Jalota. We went to, to uh, Jajit Singh. Go to the next slide on, on the uh, presentation. We went to Jajit Singh. We went to um, to so many wonderful, uh, the Anup, uh, who was the other devotee? Uh, Sri Prabhupada, Guru De Bihari, Shadanam Me Prana. Hari Om Shadan, yes. Hari Om Shadan was literally the best bhajan singer in India at that time. And we used to go to Hari Om Shadan's house like we were his family members. And we really, he became such a devotee of Srila Prabhupada. Has anyone online heard Hari Om Sharan's tape, Krishna Conscious tape? Yes, Prabhu, I heard. Yes, we did. And live too, <laughs> in the Juhu Auditorium. 
Live in the Juhu Auditorium. Wonderful, wonderful. It's one of the ones Funny we all grew up with. Shut on was to. such a one. <laughs> I wanted to sh I wanted to share that with everyone that you know that didn't happen automatically. We went day after day to his house. And I remember one time he called us up. He said, Come over, come over. I, I got something to share with us. And and we came to his house and he sung the RT song. Arti kunja bihari di di get it He was in ecstasy. He was in ecstasy, and he was singing that. She radha ras bihari. She, I mean, it was, it was, it was incredible. It was. I'm, I'm just sharing that with everyone, just so you have a little history of, of how these, these various. Uh, wonderful uh, devotion of service came along. And I went, I left Bombay and I went back to Kenya. And in Kenya, we did a traveling Sankirtan from the arrive. So try to imagine this. This was the time when there was war going on in Uganda. So I went back to Kenya and we, we were invited by one trap South Indian family to go to Uganda. Now, Uganda was a war, was a battlefield in those days. And my god brother, Rama, uh, Rama Kelly, he was such a wild man. He, he said, let's go, you know? So we got on this Mercedes van, we packed all these books, and we drive all the way from, from Nairobi, all the way to Uganda. It was crazy. I mean, we were at checkpoints. Everyone, you know, was, was, was uh, we were searched and they were, we were stopped at gunpoints at multiple checkpoints and they would come in our, our van and, 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 and point their guns at us and say, who the heck are you guys? And we would, the only way we could bribe them is to give them incense and, and, and paraphernalia that we had in the van. Then they said, okay, Bono, okay, Bono, pass. So the reason why I'm saying this is because during that effort, I, I got uh, cholera, I, not, not a cholera, I got jaundice. For the first time I got sick in overseas, I got a very, very serious case of jaundice. And I was suffering big time in Nairobi. So I said, let me go back to Bombay. So I went back in Bombay and I was sitting in my room, sick as anything. And um, the wonderful Jagat Proust came in my room and he said, I got a surprise for you. And he, if you look at our slide deck, put up the slide deck, he brought in to me a copy of the Samarpan album, right, in my room. And he played that Samarpan album, a Jajit Singh. We had initiated the contact with him, but I had no idea that he had got him to sing all these wonderful songs in, in uh, praise of Srila Prabhupada. If, has anyone heard Samarpan online? Yes. Incredible. Incredible. Sabsayunchi prema sakai Duryodhana kovinatya go Oh, so that was another overflowing. That was another overflowing for me. I was sitting in my bed. I was miserable. I had jaundice. I couldn't even sit up. And Jagat Rush cheered me up. He brought, he said, look, this is what we did. And he played this song to me. And I was just in, I was in, I was overflowing. Totally you know, I just want to, I just want to say something real quick. Uh, a lot of people who know me through my music uh, from this from this call, a lot of the influence that we got when growing up in the Krishna movement were from these recordings that Shastivar Prabhu is speaking about. You know, this is like these are like all these beautiful classical uh, raga based compositions of bhajans and songs, um, and uh, it you know it it informed us a lot in our musical. Uh, uh, attempts you know so so much of what what i put out into the world is in some way connected to these recordings that i heard growing up over and over and over again as i was a, as i was a kid 
So I've been shared this very much and, and I've been over here in the States. I haven't been back to India and Bombay. I miss Bombay so much, but I haven't been there for a very long time. But yes, we, we you know, that was, that was a good desire. I, I want to touch the feet of Jagat Bruce. He is such a sadhu. I, I, that person is, he is so wonderful. So this song here is very much connected you know, once again, you have the U there, Uchi, Uchi, right? Sub say Uchi. We used to sing this to Shishi Radha Rasa Bihari in the afternoons, right? We had a wonderful routine. This was way before Andre had his 24 hour kirtan. In Bombay, we sat in front of Shishi Radha Rasa Bihari and we sang all of these ragas. This song that I'm singing today is in Raga Vrindavan Sharan. This is a morning raga. So we went through the whole day. We sang Mahamantra. At 12 o'clock, we sang the Boga Artik song of Srila Bhakti Vinod Thakur. Then we went and the deities rested. And then we woke the deities up to wonderful Mahamantra. And then at about 6 o'clock, we sang Sabse Uchi. <laughs> Famous guy. Bhajandas. It was Sapan was an unbelievable kirtan. And he used to sing that song and all the guests would come in and they would be dancing like crazy. So I thought I'd share that with everyone. I hope you're happy to hear that. Uh, please read the translation of this song. This is such a one of my favorite songs. I wish we were together, Gorvani. Remember I told you we should sing this? This song <laughs> is just so wonderful. You know, it's by Suradas. And Suradas, he, he was blind from birth. You can imagine, we think that we're going through misery sitting at home. Suradas was blind from birth and he was rejected because his parents couldn't take, a, take care of him. So at six years old, he left home and joined a group of traveling kind of like gypsies. And eventually he met Balabacharya and he became such a wonderful, wonderful devotee of Lord Krishna. And he gave us so many beautiful songs like this. So I want to end this excursion with one more thing. After Jagapurush left, guess who became the char in charge of Bhakti Kala Chetra? The devotee's name was Surdas. <laughs> Suradas wasn't initiated when I was there. He was just, you know, like a new bhakta. And finally, he became initiated by anyone online know Suradas? Yeah, Suradas became a wonderful, wonderful devotee initiated by Srila. Krishna, Gopal Krishna Maharaj, and he took over Bhakti Kalakshetra, and he's opened beautiful temples, and he's continued cultivating all the wonderful, glamorous stars, and having beautiful plays, and concerts, and all kinds of events in the, in the cultural hall there. Now I know who you're talking about. Yes. Sure does. Yes. Sure does. yes. yes. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna wrap it up and sing the, the, the last few slokas of this and then that'll be a wrap for for today. So we're just uh, coming to the end of our of our session. Um, uh, before we do this last uh, song, Bhajan for today, I wanna to just say a few things because sometimes people quickly drop off the call. So if you just will, um, will, uh, tolerate me for a few seconds. So uh, we had tried to set this up where we could have as many participants as possible. For some reason, uh, it maxed out at 100. So I'm going to do some homework and figure out what happened. But uh, a lot of other people were writing me that they couldn't join. So please spread the word that for next week, Sunday, Eastern Standard Time, we will have it available so that it can be more than 100 people. So please all come again. This is going to be a weekly uh, thing and each week we're going to be having uh, different folks in the community you uh, singing and sharing and and other other uh, presenters uh, so please uh, please be part of this and and let us let us be nurtured let us 
drink deeply and dive deeply into this beautiful uh, offering by Bhaktivinoda Thakur each week. Um, Vishnu, if it's okay with you, I'm going to send out your email. Is that all right? On the chat, if everyone wants to look at the chat, if you yeah. have a desire to get more involved, uh, either as a musician or as a speaker or um, helping with some tech stuff or whatever, please uh, write to Vishnu here. Um, and uh, she's just going to send me a chat with her preferred email, and I'm going to put it on the group chat for everyone. Uh, once again, handing it back to Shasti Prabhu. Thank you so much. If there's anything that I missed, uh, please write to me. Thank you so much, everyone. Uh, please enjoy this last offering. So we'll sing. I'll say. sing. I'll sing. I'll go through the last three slokas, and then we'll read the translation. We'll end with a Maha Mantra and read the translation. Krishna Seva Sukhariana Loka Pata Siguru Jadana Kripa Samatana Viya Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama. Oh, 
Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare आनीते वृक्ष ए कर्कस मन नाशिल इहार शोभा शून साधु जन तुम्हरा सकले हाओ ए वृक्षर माली श्रद्धा बारी दिया पुनः कर रूपशाली फलिबे कल्याण फल जुगल सेवन करीब सकले बिली ताहा आस्धन नृत्य करी हरि बोल खाओ सेवा फल भक्ति बोले करो दूर कुतर्क Any honest or noble person who sincerely takes shelter of this transcendental tree gets to taste these special these fruits of special supreme auspiciousness which is devotional service to Lord Krishna by utilizing the strength that I am obtaining from the mercy of the lotus feet of Sri Guru Dev I have now brought this wonderful desire tree of auspiciousness here O oh, honest and noble persons Please hear what has happened now. When I brought the tree here, I have pulled it forcibly and handed it and handled it very roughly due to my harsh mentality. Therefore, it has now lost its original splendorous beauty. Now I wish that all of you should become the gardeners of this transcendental tree and by regularly watering it with your faith and devotion. make it beautiful again by pouring the water of your faith the fruits of auspiciousness will fructify into eternal service to the divine couple <laughs> shri shri radha krishna which all of us together will taste and relish just eat all these sweet fruits of conjugal service while dancing and chanting the holy names and on the strength of this devotional service please extinguish the blazing forest fire of all the useless arguments that i will now begin to describe one by one in the first chapter of this book jai shri la bhakti vinod thakur ki jai ho so next week we will dive into the forest of material enjoyment and as well as into the forest of shri vrindavan dam and we're going to have a uh, a very deep discussion on the significance of trees in our our vedic culture and the significance of this kalyana kopa tree this kopa vriksha tree and we're also going to 
offer our respectful obeisances onto our Shiksha and Diksha gurus before we begin officially singing the, the various songs within Kalyana Kopatru next week as well, with a discussion on Upadesha Amrita and um, one verse from Srimad Bhagavad Gita, glorifying the spiritual master. So, Gauravani Prabhu, over to you. Thank you so much. I cannot express enough my gratitude to all of you for coming. We love you all. We respect you all. Please stay safe. And uh, we can actually take advantage and become very intimately connected through the connection of these bhajans and holy name. Even though we're socially distancing, we're intimately connected. In fact, when have I had the chance to do this with any of you? Never. So I'm so grateful, actually. And uh, we should always be grateful and have full faith that the Lord is giving us what we need. So thank you all so much. Please uh, act as, um, uh, please uh, communicate with Vishnu um, uh, uh, for any questions, because she's going to try and act as our communication hub. We're going to try our best here. We are going through this book, this, this journey, I promise you this, this journey will blow your mind from where we have started from to where we will go. You can't believe it. Uh, it the, last year, what we did changed my life just that one day. So please, please stay close. We're going to fix this business. If anyone's really pro at uh, Zoom, get in touch with Vishnu. We'll talk to you, make sure we get this fixed so that we can have 10,000 people with the U, 10,000 U's. <laughs> and I have just one, I have only one more thing to say. One thing Shastri Prabhu was saying, the trees, Lord Chaitanya, everyone has this U. And he was also talking about the cup. The cup is also shaped like a U, the cup that is filling up with so much nectar. And then the cup starts to spill. Jai. Hari Bol, love and respect Hare to all of Krishna. you. Uh, Hare Krishna. Krishna. Hari Bol, Robert. Hari Bol, everybody. Hari Krishna. Hari Krishna. Hari Krishna. Thank you for Atul, David, so many wonderful Hare devotees Krishna, out there. Hari Hari Bol, Parvati, Russell, Shruti Sagar, Devanshi, Radhika, Vishwariya, Srivani, Radhe, Avinash, Jalil, Ashrai, Akiko. Who do we got? We got so many people. <laughs> Haribol. So nice. Jai, my love and respects to all of you. Thank you so much for being here. T stay super safe. We love you. Hari Krishna. Hari Haribol. Hari Krishna. Haribol. 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 Haribol.